This video clip is on how to use the ProScope microscope. It's a digital microscope that you can use with your class and your computer and project whatever you're zooming in on up onto your computer screen. The first thing you're going to do is take the install CD out of the kit, black box, and put it into your laptop. And wait for a screen to open up. It'll take just a minute. Once the screen opens up, you're going to double click the Windows folder and then double click the install proscope hr.exe. And then you're just going to click through the series of next, next, next until it's all finished. And I've already done this, so I don't want to do it again. And you're going to close out of that, and you should be ready to start. You go to the Start menu, Programs, right here. Um, the software is from a company called Bodolin or Bodolin, and so you're going to find that, and then open up the icon that says Proscope HR. At this point, if you get an error, um, come see me. The one that just popped up right now on mine is could not find any camera attached. Please connect a camera. That's a simple thing is just connecting a camera. If your error says something that you need to download Windows Service Pack, email Katie and I will give you the really quick um, attachment that you need to run this. It takes 30 seconds to do, um, but just let me know. So obviously there's no camera attached yet, so I'm going to click OK. And this is what the software looks like. The next thing you're going to want to do is attach that camera. I'm going to set down the, the flip camera here for just a second. Inside the box with the microscope comes with items that look like this. The ones you're probably going to want to use the most are the microscope itself and the lens attachments. We have found that the 400 attachment, 400 times, is just a little too powerful for what we use. So we like to use the 100 zoom, which is right here. A lot of focus, but. So you're just gonna take the ProScope out of the box, and at the end of the cord is a USB attachment, and that simply plugs into the side of your computer. I can get that to zoom in for you. So you're just going to plug it in to the side here. And then you're ready to use your proscope. I'm going to leave the camera up here on the screen. This right here has a few different settings. If you flip the side button up to A, you get a light that shines and that kind of illuminates things. Off is no light and B is kind of like a backlight. So I leave the light on when I'm looking at things and all you need to do is just press the lens up to whatever you're looking at. So here's my skin and it shows up on your screen. You can move it to different parts. And then you can project this right up from your computer onto your classroom projector. I've brought also with me a leaf because we're studying plants and a seashell so we can look at different parts. It can be anything at all. Anything that's printed in color like newsprint or anything in books is fun to look at because you actually see that it's not just one color, it's different colors. So I'm going to try this leaf. So I'm going to press the microscope down onto the leaf and you can see that there um, are different things to look at here. You can talk about the different parts of plants and you know, however you would use a regular microscope, but now it's up on the screen. 
Okay, if you want to capture what this picture looks like, so let's say you've got a really good picture going, you can click capture, and down here on the bottom, it shows the picture that you've captured. And so maybe you want to look at the leaf, and then you want to capture a picture of your skin. And let's try one on a seashell here. So I'm going to set the microscope down. And you can put these um, into a video or time lapse movies, just different things to play with. But this is just very basic on how to uh, use the ProScope microscope.